So have you ever wanted to write a movie, but you took one glance at Final Draft's price tag and was like, nope, can't spend that kind of money. Well, this is the video for you today because we're going to look at five screenwriting softwares that you can use, as the name implies, for zero dollars. This way you can write your Oscar winning script so that the world will get to experience it. Now, actually, there are more than five free screenwriting softwares out there, but I want to give you the five that I've at least heard of or have some experience with. And stay tuned to the end of the video uh, as I'll give you a sixth one that I've just heard about but haven't really tried out yet myself. And I'll put out a video in the next month or two with a more patented, brutal review uh, about how I think this new free software works. Now, our first free software is more of a syntax than a software. Fountain is a way to turn any text editor into a screenwriting program. Now, because of its versatility, you can use Fountain on any type of device that has some type of text editor. Now, as you look at the screen, you can begin to see how this powerful syntax works. Now, you'll notice that you will not get a formatted script that you, in the way that you think you would, you would have looking at how it's written for, in Fountain. You can, however, upload it into uh, it did about any other screenwriting software and have that software translated into a properly formatted uh, screenplay based on the syntax that you use. And I'll provide links in the description about where to find each of these different programs or in Fountain's case, the website which has the syntax you need to use. Our next free software is Trelby. This software is a ma marriage made in heaven for screenwriters who like to do a different kind of script work, aka computer programmers. Now, Trelby is a powerful open source screenwriting program. And here are some of the list of its features. It has a screenplay editor, which uh, enforces correct script formatting and pagation, auto completion, and spell checking. It's multi platform. It behaves identically on all platforms, generating the exact same output, which is very important. You have a choice of views. Uh, you have multiple views, including draft view, what you see is what you get mode, and full screen to suit your writing style. You can have a name database that has over 200,000 names from various countries. You have a wonderful reporting feature, which has, talks about scene, location, character, and dialogue reports. Um, it has the ability to compare scripts, so you know what changed between different versions. And now it can import different screen, screenplay format text. It can uh, put in the final draft, it can, and it could download. You can use Celtic, you can use Fountain, which we just got done talking about. So this might be a way to take your Fountain text and turn it into that automatic uh, screenplay if you're using Fountain. Um, and also has Fade In Pro as well, too. Now, export it can export uh, formatted text, HTML, RTF, Final Draft, XML, and Fountain. It also has PDF, which is a built in, highly configurable PDF generator. It supports embedding your chosen font, also supports generating PDFs with custom watermarks to help track shared files. Now, it does have a downside to it, though, in that only Windows and Linux users can use it. I also don't know if, it, if this if it means that it can support mobile devices as well, as the last time it was updated was about 12 years ago. However, if you want something that is pretty powerful and you like to make your own modifications to your program, this might be right up your alley. Since our last free software was, uh, was for Windows and Linux users only, I thought it would only be appropriate for our Mac brothers and sisters uh, to have their only type of screenwriting program made for them, and that would be Highland 2, which is a Mac-only screenwriting software. One of the reasons I like this particular software uh, comes from learning how easy it is to use it. As you can see, screenwriting in Highlander is very easy. You can get started in as few as 30 seconds. So it just says start, start typing. Seriously, just type. Leave a blank line between paragraphs. Write in a dialogue. Just type the character's name in uppercase. The line below it will automatically become dialogue. Uh, you'll never have, you'll never need to hit the tab key. Just hit return. Need a parenthetical? Just put in parentheses. Hey, Squibbler. Look how easy this is, <laughs> and this is free. Sorry, I'll stop. All right, Highlander automatically recognizes scene headers like interior, exterior, and also cut to. Uh, once used, Highlander automatically su suggests character and location names. Again, a wonderful feature to have. Um, and to see a preview of what you've written, simply tap the preview button to choose view or go to preview. And that's 90% of screenwriting in Highlander. I think that's pretty, pretty easy. So the other thing I really like about Highlander, it has tools screenwriters need. Uh, we talk about a navigator, we talk about a bin, a live margins and revision mode. Uh, though we'll have to talk about revision mode because it's not, I don't think in the free version. Uh, another interesting thing about it, this is has gender analysis. It tracks the gender breakdown of speaking parts in your script. 
Um, if this is something that's important to you, it has this free type of feature in it. And I believe it's in the free as well as in the paid version. And this is the one part I really enjoy about Highlander um, in that it converts final draft and screen paid PDFs to editable text. And this is pretty huge. So you can take any PDF, throw it in the Highlander and you'll be able to type in on it. You're not able to do that with a lot of other different types of programs. So I thought this was one of the game changing type of features of this particular program. And as we talked about before, this is just a Mac only uh, software, screen screen software program. So that might be if you own a PC or a Linux machine, uh, this is, would be one reason why not to use it. But as we look at the differences between the basic features and the pro features, you can also see that there is some uh, differences between the two and this might uh, change whether you want to use this program. Uh, if you notice with the basic features, you get five instead of 14 PDF templates. Uh, you get two built-in ed editor themes, though you do get dark mode, which I think is always worth it. Uh, you get a lot more um, in the, the pro feature. You get watermark PDFs, which are, is not very professional if you're turning them into somewhere. Uh, so you have to pay to get upgraded, which I don't really like, but I know why they do that. Uh, you get a launch, bunch of the other same things the same. You get character highlighting, sprints, gender analysis, automatic uh, plain text backups, um, international terms. Uh, and the, you get knowledgeable support, which means you can search the help site as opposed to someone who can actually answer your questions by using an email. The other thing you'll also notice in um, Pro is that you get a word analysis and you also get revision mode, which you do not get in the basic features. But if you're just looking for a program to get started again, and it has a lot of good features to begin with and has a really big ease of use. This is not necessarily a bad program to start with. You can always look at it. And if you want to buy the pro features, I believe at the time of this video, the, the pro features was $49.99, which doesn't break the bank. And then the nice thing about it is you don't have to do any other additional updates as well too, uh, paid updates, I should say, uh, like we do have to do a final draft and something like that. So. So if you like this type of program, give it a try. Give the free one a try. If you really like the free, then invest uh, in the pro feature. Our next free software program belongs to the likes of Celtic. Now, a lot older screenwriters in the space have some experience using Celtic, or if you're into writing scripts for games, you might have some working knowledge around this as well too. As this list is about programs I have knowledge about, I've never used Celtic before, but I've used a program that is very similar called Studio Binder. Now these two programs give their very basic screenwriting software out for free, but the draw of the app is to actually help to manage the rest of the filmmaking project. Spell Studio Binder gives you the ability to communicate between different members of the filmmaking team to help get their goals done and to keep everybody on the same page. And this is where they make their money. The screenwriting software is more like window dressing. Though this window dressing ain't half bad. I like the graphical interface. It works well, unlike other paid programs that I've recently got done looking at. So you can write your script pretty easy in here. You can export it as a PDF, you can add comments to the script and save it a certain vision version number. Now, it also has a very helpful YouTube channel, which is crammed with lots of helpful writing videos. However, other than that, it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, which I know for some people can be distracting. And the last thing to keep in mind uh, is you can only create one script in the free version of Studio Binder. However, if it's, it's really easy to get started, it's got a very clean and uncluttered design. So if this is where you're at as a writer right now, give this one a try. Our next free software is one of my personal favorites. When I did my top nine screenwriting softwares for 2021, I left this off my list and I was grateful when people started asking me to take a closer look at it. And this software is Kitsuneris. To me, it feels like a free version of Scrivener. Now, unlike some YouTubers who actually didn't try out the full version of Kit, I have looked at the many features and you're getting a great deal, especially for free. I mean, you have a research section where you can add files, images, and all sorts of stuff. You can create mind maps to help you in thinking about character relationships or plotting out your story. They have a card feature where you can shuffle around your scenes, statistics that track characters, uh, speaking parts, location scenes, and characters. Plus, it's a very powerful word editor in and of itself. And even more, I haven't even mentioned it supports and was written for people who are not native English speakers. Meaning, uh, so if you have, you're looking for your particular language support, give the software a look. They're, they have a lot of different languages you can write in. Uh, I wanna say Cambodian was the last language. They have Greek and they have a lot of different formats for different types of screenplays other than just the ones from Hollywood. So there's a lot of good things in there. Now, however, we always try to bring up all sides so you can make a good informed decision. So there are some downsides for Kitsuneris. One of the big ones is you can't do a dual dialogue, which is where characters are speaking at the same time. 
One of the other one that I've had several people point out to me that they don't feel comfortable with is it's made in Russia. And I know a lot of people, for them, that's a hard no. To be honest, I haven't had any problems with it so far. And finally, the team is working on a new project, which means it hasn't been getting a lot of updates recently. But even when I say that, its last update was done in November of 2021, which is a lot better than 12 Now, if you need all the bells and whistles, give this one a look see. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And I've created a quick guide as well to help you in your screwdriving endeavors. You can find that up at the top of the page. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. There's one free software I'm just learning about today and haven't yet tried, which is called Script. And here are some of the features, uh, that they, uh, which looks pretty cool to me. One of the big features is Script is available for uh, Windows, OS, as well as Linux. Uh, it's got a focus on structure. It never loses sight of the big picture. It has industry standard formatting, visual map relationships, it has capture notes, generate reports, synchronized film and screenplay. Uh, it has a library of screenplays that you can read, uh, which I think is a wonderful uh, educational piece. And you can import and export to popular formats. Now I'm hoping in the next month or two to give this the brutal review to make sure it is indeed worth your time and energy. But for right now, give it a check if you're looking for different types of programs. It looks on the surface to be a very well made uh, program. So what are your feelings about these six free software programs? Is there one you'd really like? Is there one I didn't include on my list? Feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Hi, if we're meeting for the first time, my fellow screenwriting enthusiasts, my name is Paul from Small Town Movie Critic. Now, if you're new to the channel, we're all about helping you write that kick-ass screenplay by giving you tips, tools, inspiration, and you know it, product reviews. We've been doing a lot more of those lately. Now, if you feel this type of content would be good for helping you with your screenwriting endeavors, feel free to hit the subscribe button below. If you like the content, feel free to come out and check out some of my other content, which is all about helping you go deeper into your screenwriting. If there's a particular product you want me to look at, I've done some reviews of classes that people want. If uh, I see enough people want that, I'll be happy to review those classes or particular products. Now, as we do each and every week, I'd like to welcome all of our new subscribers. Uh, and I've spent a couple of weeks since I've done one of these, uh, not the video, but to do some shout outs. So this week, I'd like to thank especially Chris Gonzalez, uh, Paco7968, Desi McSqueezy, Mike Grace, author and poet, Constanza Garcia, Stanley Sang, and Nathasia Sylvia. Now, if I butchered any of your names, I completely apologize. Uh, and I have them all listed up on the screen so you can see them. Thank you all for walking me through with me through our collective screenwriting journeys. And I wish you all luck in your future writing and filmmaking endeavors. Now, my hope for this week is your writing goes well, or in my case, your rewriting goes well. I hope you've been able to carve out some time so you can work on that next kick-ass screenplay because only you can make that next blockbuster that will help other people fall in love with storytelling like we all do. So until the next video, keep writing and have a blessed day.